Well, good morning and welcome to Coffee with the Pastor. Uh, we're going through the Sermon on the Mount. Yesterday, uh, Jesus had talked to his uh, disciples about being the fulfillment of law, not abolishing the law, but fulfilling the law. And then he uh, said, unless your righteousness is better than the Pharisees, uh, that you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And then he starts explaining the law. There's a lot of great things in the law, a lot of great things in the Torah. Do you understand that in the Torah is where we get the Shema, which is to love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our might. It also has in Leviticus about to love the diverse ourselves. It has the Ten Commandments. Uh, the, the, the law has many things in it. And Jesus is going to take some, look at some of the laws, and we're going to look at some of those the rest of the week. And he's going to explain that behind each law, there's kind of an inner part of us that has to be solved so that we don't get to that point. They're on spectrums. And this is in chapter 5, verse 21. It says, You have heard that it was said to the people long ago, You shall not murder. And anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, Raka, is answerable to the court. And anyone who says, You fool, will be in danger of the fire of hell. Now Jesus takes the command that you shall not murder. And he says, okay, we don't do that, but we need to go deeper than that. And so he talks about the motivations behind murder. One of the first things he mentions is anger. Now, anger in and of itself is not sin. It, anger is a feeling that God has given. But anger can, if not self-controlled, if not controlled, can overwhelm us. Uh, people who go into rages lose control of themselves. And that leads to anger. But that is something you need to deal with before you get to that point. And so it's on a smaller spectrum, but it's something that we have to deal with within ourselves. A lot of people have difficulty with, with, with anger, and anger should be dealt with and, 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 and understand it's on the same spectrum as, as Jesus puts on the same spectrum as murder. And then he says, if somebody says to somebody, Raka, uh, and that's a put-down term. It's, it's, it's a term just saying uh, you're not good enough or you're, you're, not, you're not up to par. Uh, you're somebody who... It, it, it's a way of showing disrespect to somebody. He says you shouldn't show disrespect to somebody. You shouldn't look at somebody with disrespect. You shouldn't look at somebody thinking that you're less than. Uh, you know, I think even as believers, you know, here we have, we're children of God, we're sons and daughters of God, we've been given all this, but we're never to treat with anybody with disrespect or look at them with disrespect or to look at them as if they're inferior or be, treat them as they're inferior. So he says, rock, and then he says, and if you call somebody a fool, then you... Uh, you're in danger of hellfire. And uh, if you call somebody a fool, you're basically saying you're worthless. If you look at another human being and saying, you're just worthless. Just worthless. Jesus says, you're the one that's in danger of hellfire. How we think of others is important. That's why racism is so so awful because people think just because of somebody's color of their skin they think they think of them as, as being less than um, it's horrible if you have somebody and you just think that person you know is, is, is 
horrible. That person is just worthless to me. Jesus says that's on the same spectrum as murder. And so, again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, you shall not murder. And anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you, anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Again, anyone who says to a brother or sister, Raka, is answerable to the court. And anyone who says, you fool, will be in danger of hellfire. Remember this today as you go through, that uh, the law says don't murder, but Jesus says inside of us, there's a lot of things that happen before you get to that. One is anger. Now there's treating somebody with disrespect. Another one is just looking at somebody as that they're completely worthless. Uh, in this time of uh, election year, which I say to all those from in America that are watching, uh, our country loses its mind every four years and makes the people who disagree with us politically enemies, and that's silly. Uh, why we can't have some disagreements and all. So today, as you go throughout your life today, remember, you have an obligation to treat God's creation and the crown of his creation, other people, with respect and realize that they are worthwhile and that they're special to God. Well, we'll look at some other laws this week, and uh, we'll be continuing through the Sermon on the Mount. So I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow.